Welcome back to CI Living. Wham! Pow! Oh, oh. <laughs> Kaboom! Thwack! Well, what are these words? It, it, what do they mean to you? It, it means either Heather Roberts is coming after you or you're talking about comic books. <laughs> Our own superhero Joe Barlow has more a local comic creator. I almost don't want to even say anything. <laughs> that was very entertaining. But Damian Duffy, he's a PhD student at the U of I, but he's also a published comic book creator. I sat down with him in his secret lair to see how he gained his superpowers. When I was a kid, uh, I had a cold or something, and my dad bought me the Spider-Man comic, uh, you know, from like the gas station or whatever. And in the comic, Spider-Man had a cold. So, uh, you know, I was six and I was reading it and I coughed and Peter Parker coughed at the same time. It's like, oh my God, I'm Spider-Man. That's the origin story of Damian Duffy. He didn't get bit by a radioactive spider, but instead got comic book fever. I always like to draw and paint um, and write. Uh, like when I was a kid, there's some school project where they asked what you want to be when you grow up. And I said I wanted to be an author, because I wanted to write and be an author, but I couldn't spell very well, um, which has kind of plagued me to this day. I don't know if it was like, I didn't realize you could buy more comics or what, but so I just started making my own Spider-Man comics uh, when I was six. And since then, he's gone beyond the superheroes. I started to realize some of the complexities of comics and the many different types of stories you can tell with comics. I was always really drawn to this idea of pushing past, past sort of the preconceived boundaries of comics. This is a graphic novel that I wrote and lettered in John Jennings Illustrated called The Whole Consumer Culture. Uh, and it's a horror, science fiction, satire about race and gender, how that gets sold through mass media. It's a bit strange and crazy, but it's also uh, really just trying to talk about some serious issues. There's a certain thrill in making somebody up and then they start talking to you. Um, you know, so when a character sort of takes on a life of its own. Characters and story are obviously a challenge, but it's only part of the struggle to create a comic. Not the writing as much, but the lettering, which I also do is like the word balloons and stuff like that. Just sort of figuring out how to fit words in a way that's like aesthetically pleasing and helps move the visual story along. Um, that's time consuming. And of course the art, it takes a while to do. I think the association of comics with nerd culture, it's turned out to be a good thing. Like, for a long time it was, I think, part of the reason why comics weren't really kind of critically respected or respected by mainstream culture. But the growing popularity of comics has sort of paralleled the growing popularity of like nerd culture, geek culture. Um, but I, really all of that, I think, just comes out of the fact that comics makes people sort of devoted readers, right? Like, it has a tendency to spawn fans. I think part of the reason that comics creates fans is just that it's a really sort of complicated medium. It can tell any kind of story possible. Um, it's pretty democratic in that anyone can like draw and write a comic, and you don't even have to draw well to make a good comic. It just has a lot of potentials that I think are only now starting to become apparent. Final question then is, are you said nerd? Am I said nerd? Um, I'll say yes till my kids get old enough to know what that means. And now they're like, oh, no, daddy's cool. What are you talking about? Um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll accept nerd. I think that's a fair, <laughs> I think that's a fair characterization. But a smart one. Yes. Yeah. He knows <laughs> yeah. he knows how to I, I, I think it's really cool that he can tell these stories. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he's studying and using this as, as a as a way to express himself and studying it through school mm -hmm. in the pursuit of his PhD. That's pretty neat. Indeed. Well I love I love his first story about thinking he's Spider Man and then that got him hooked <laughs> yeah. on comics and now, you know, that he wants to do that for his career, for his life, and it was just kind of like he had a cough, and his dad bought him a comic book. <laughs> and there you go. There you go. And we'll have links to his stuff so you can check out his comic books. Maybe buy a comic book on CILiving.tv after the show.